Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to be checking this wheel bearing out. Well, I know it's bad. And I'll show you how to check that here in just a second, but uh, I'm going to take it apart and re-grease it. I just needed to get us 40 miles. But, if you're hearing this, Whether it be on a car, truck, trailer, tractor, whatever, your wheel bearing's bad. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this wheel off. Now, when I was working at Fruitland Park Trailers, I would just take the wheel and hub all off, you know, to save time. But, I'm going to go ahead and pull the wheel off of this thing. I don't like these steel hubs. I'd rather have um, galvanized. You know, because this will be in some salt water and, you know, but, yeah, when you hear that, and these are bearing buddies, we're going to be knocking this off. Uh, you can just shoot grease right into there and it greases your hub up, but uh, I'm going to take it apart and look at it. I don't know. I may have to go get a set of bearings for this thing, and we'll check the other side, too. I greased it, and it quieted down so but let's go ahead we'll hit the intro get this wheel off here and we'll take this off Like I said, first thing we're going to do is because we're going to be tapping on this. I don't want to hit the rim. But, like, when he replaced these, some most of the time it's cheaper on these small wheels and tires. It's cheaper just to get the whole wheel and tire already. And that's what he did. But he went from galvanized wheel which is good for, especially down here in Florida, if you're going to be in salt water, to a steel wheel. You can already see some rust coming through. Well, not coming through, but where it's coming out of there. And that's where they'll rust at. And then, you know, your lug nuts will rust. second guys I'm gonna shoot some penetrating fluid just on these well actually we can do this just to kind of help save the threads a little bit when those come off but I keep this greased regularly and uh, you know check see if I got any better lug nuts than this in there. I got lug nuts but I don't know if they're the right 
size. I'll have to check. make a tool to remove these and put them back on but I don't have that tool I left it at work because they didn't have one so this is how you take them off if you don't have that tool just like that there's a little bit of water in there not much though just a drop or two now there will be a cotter P, uh, the cotter pee cotter pin there uh, hang on a second guys let me get a uh, I, I really need to get a new axle actually damn I see a hole in this axle over there in the center hmm I may have to address that you don't want these axles breaking going down the road all right let me get a rag all right guys we're under the boat because uh, if I need to get an axle, if I don't think this thing's gonna make it over there, I'm, uh, you know, I'll have to get a new axle. And if I do, I'll just be getting new, new hubs and everything because it's all gonna be galvanized. So, right here is a screwdriver sticking through the axle. Now this is an open axle on this end. I hate these things anyway. It's only like a thousand pound axle. But, as you can see probably, it's eaten. I mean, now look how big it is. And this is where they split, guys, because you know the weight's on the ends, so that puts, puts? puts pressure down here in the center and they usually snap right in this area I don't think there's anything to weld to there I'm gonna have to get my trusty drill out with the wire wheel and see if I can uh, weld something across there to get us over there I mean it's not the heavy of a boat but it is heavy enough to break this axle when it's that thin um, crap all right let me go see what kind of stuff i've got and this is not good guys don't do what i just did put your jack stand on your damn wires so i may have to fix those but um yeah okay so this is a galvanized frame that's good i thought it was steel but it is galvanized um but this is not there's a galvanized plate there. Man. All right. Well, let me inspect this some more. I'll see if I got something I could weld across there and tack on. That's awful, awful thin. All right, let me see what I got, guys. I gotta get this done by tomorrow. All right, guys. <clears throat> I got a couple pieces of metal welded up to there. I was gonna go all the way from end to end. I got this side bubblegum welded together. But the other side, the front side, is just kind of tacked. I don't know if you can see it down through there. But, uh... My water puked. There's something wrong with the stinger. These things ain't worth buying a stinger and putting a stinger in. It just keeps balling up right there and breaking in half. And, yes, I have to have this on there because even with this tightened all the way up... It doesn't hold the wheels tight enough because they're plastic and they spread out. I think her dad bought that new at Harbor Freight years ago. I've had it for, you know, for four and a half years. Yeah, about four and a half years. And he had it for I don't know how many years before that. But ever since I got it, <clears throat> 
that thing would start welding if you touch the the wire on any kind of metal it would start welding before you even pulled the trigger so there was something going on with it but I thought I'll work around that no big deal but so I can't finish that but hopefully and I might try to drill some holes up through there and put a couple bolts in it with this whole side welded it'll probably be all right so I'll probably do that and then we'll check these bearings uh, see if they're worth trying to make the trip over or not um, so <clears throat> yeah I think I'm going to try to put two bolts in there and see what happens so anyway that's an update if I could have got that welded down through there I wouldn't be scared to take it it still wouldn't be ideal but it'd be stronger than what it was you know, I mean, my walls ain't going to break even though they're crappy. Uh, I don't know. Let me get a game plan going here. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and let's see what these bearings are like. Might not even be able to get to take the boat. I'm pretty bummed about that because, you know, I planned this overnight trip you know revolving around the boat for monkey for her birthday so I mean she's like it's okay honey you you know you worked hard you did the best you could she said we'll just have to get you another welder but yeah it doesn't do me any good for tomorrow if I can't take the boat I mean, we still got a room and stuff. We can still go have some fun. But the whole reason about going clear up there was for the boat. Okay, I got to get my tools I left over here that, uh, and my gloves. Yeah, that welder's just, I mean, it, it's all right for small stuff, like we welded that muffler together on the four-wheeler and stuff like that, but, yeah, they're just, uh, you know, they're just not good welders. I mean, it, it'll make a professional welder look bad. Uh... Let's shit. We yank this off here and see what we got going on. I mean, what happens is the seals go bad, as you can see right there. It lets the grease go out and then it ruins your bearings. Alright, see that? So I gotta get I gotta get this cleaned out. And uh I got a tank around back. I should build me a parts washer. But All right, let me get this cleaned out, and then I'll be back with you. Update. There's a roller bearings. This is called a cage. This is the race, the bearing race. Yes, yeah, so I was cleaning them, <laughs> was spinning it, and they just blew apart. So. This boat ain't going anywhere this weekend. I don't know where I can get a hub at. I'll call a few parts stores and see.
Ugh. I don't know if I can just... I don't know. Let me call some parts stores. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, that thing probably wouldn't have... Well, it might have made it. Because, you know, we wouldn't be on the highway 70, 75 miles an hour. But, still, I'm glad I decided to check them. Let's see if I can find a hub. And or a bearing and seal set with the races because I'm sure that race and that one would be shot um alright let me see what I can do so I called a boat place <laughs> yeah they got them hubs 158 bucks for one but it comes with the bearings and man dude get out of here and they're not galvanized they're just steel steel hubs that's stupid I think I got a set of bearings and a seal that I was gonna put in the other trailer <clears throat> I bought two sets I only needed one but the problem with that is yeah they're in there alright well let's just for the heck of it for right now See if this thing will start. Alright. Let's see if this will start. Well, I know it'll start engine wise, but I don't know if that battery. <laughs> Two cranks. Fired right up, no smoke. Alright, well, I'm going to go in the house and cool down, see if I can remember where I put them bearings at. Um, I don't know if they'll fit in the hub, I'm sure they'll fit the spindle, but I don't know if they'll fit that hub because they're for a five lug. <coughs> this has got four lugs, and they were for that boat back there. Let me see what I can do. Okay. I found them. Now, I gotta see if they'll fit. Alright, so, I got the bearings and seal, but I don't have the races. That's the outer race right there. It's a little pitted. The front one's okay. Back one's a little pitted. It still make may make a little noise. This would not be a permanent fix, but it will. I'm comfortable with it taking it tomorrow and this is where the seal rides and focus yeah see it's all pitted so it'll probably leak but I just need it to get us there tomorrow and back on Sunday and I think it will do that as long as that axle holds out so I want to pack these by hand <coughs> and uh, we'll get it put back together put it in there um, I'll pack them I'm not going to do a real thorough job because you know it's got the bearing buddies on it buddy bearings or whatever and uh, so that'll get them get the grease through there like I said, that's really all it's got to do is one trip, and then I got to jack this side up and check it. The last time I greased this side, it wasn't making any noise, but we'll have to check. But uh, let me um, let me get these packed by hand. Okay, guys, now to pack these by hand, I'm just going to take a little bit of grease. <coughs> Excuse me. Put in my hand, I'm going to take the wheel bearing. In the back of it it's wider there than it is there then I'm just going to take these and I'm just going to keep going like this until I see grease come out this side and then I'll I'll just keep going around until they both have grease coming out there you go see that Is 
See where it's coming out there? Right there where my finger is. And right there. Yeah, you just do that. Go around and do that until you get grease coming out all the way around it. Doesn't take that long. It is messy, but when we put this on, I'll show you how to preload these. You don't put them on and just tighten them up real tight. That's if you don't know. A lot of you guys will know that. But So I'm going to keep doing this. And then I'll do the other one. Then we'll, uh, we'll put the seal in. Then you just take some grease and go around the edge of this. Just like this. Kind of make it look like a donut. Take your excess, put it inside there. It won't hurt anything. I know what guys are going to say. You should be using marine grease because it keeps the water out. Grease keeps the water out. This is high temperature grease. So whenever, whenever you, especially, especially if you're going to be on the highway a lot, and also, most importantly, if you're running small wheels and tires, like this thing's got, or you got a small utility trailer, um, they spin a lot faster than, you know, like say a semi wheel. You know what I mean? So, okay, let me get this. My hands wiped off here. I did find some nug lug nuts that cover the whole the whole stud, so that'll keep the uh, help keep the water out. Get a, another paper towel here. Like I said, this would not be a long-term fix, guys. This wouldn't last, depending on how much you're running it, maybe a month. Alright, now let's drive the seal in. I know, I know, you need a seal driver. Some people don't have that stuff. I do, but I'm showing you how to do it if you don't have it. Get that in there and get that started. It can be finicky. Yes, with a seal driver, it's a lot easier. If you have a big socket, that works too. Just have patience with it. And go around just like that. I take a little bit of this grease and put on that seal for when we go to slide this on the axle. Just like that, all right? Now let me get you over to the axle and we'll put this on. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of grease and put up there where the seal goes. Just like that. And then I'm gonna put some on the shaft. So that way the bearings slide on easier, just like that. Now, we're going to take our hub assembly. Push that on there just like that. And we're going to take our other bearing. And I'm going to... Just to help it a little bit. Put a little bit of grease in there. Like I said, I'm going to grease it with the bearing buddies too. So, put that on there like that. Now, <clears throat> and I forgot my big pliers, or you can use a crescent wrench. I'm going to put this on. Now I'll show you how to preload these. I'm going to take these off for now. Now what I like to do on these um, on these boat trailers, take a little bit of grease, just put a little bit on the threads. And that way, when it runs up, when the uh, nut runs up on there, it covers them threads with grease. You can use. Um, never sees but a lot of people have grease and they don't have never sees i don't have never sees and i'm a mechanic 
I should have have some of that stuff on on hand but you know this will work that's all you got to do just like that now let me go get my uh, get my other tool so we can um, uh, preload that bearing okay so what we're going to do we got that finger tight now we're going to preload it that's called a castle nut because well it looks like a castle so we're going to all right we're going to preload it just till there's some drag on it yeah i can feel that now we're going to back it off just a smidge until we get to where our holes lined up there Yeah, that's a that, uh, that's a bearing race, but I think it'll be all right for what we're going to be doing. We're going to put our cotter pin back in here. Now. Uh, I cleaned my buddy bearing off and I must have sat it up there. Hang on, let me go get my buddy bearing. Now these can be a little bit of a pain too to get them started in. some grease in there and we're going to watch that that center piece right there as soon as it starts coming out towards me I'm going to stop a lot of guys will take it all the way out but that puts more pressure on that rear seal then when you go down the road and uh, it heats up you can blow your seal out to move so I'm going that's going to be enough for me all right yeah there we go like I said it's still going to be a little loud but it is what it is so let me get this stuff out of the way and we'll put the wheel back on and this job's done all right let's spin this one See, so you can't even hear it. That's the way they should, your wheels should always sound. So that one's good to go. Man, I wish I had a race to put in that other one. It would have been fine. But it'll be fine for what we need it to do for tomorrow. So, all right. Whew, let me cool down. And I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so that's done. The only thing left I got to do is later when she gets home, we're going to hook the boat up. We're going to take it down and fuel up tonight. That way we'll be ready to go. And then i um, uh, just going to leave the boat hooked up. So, then, I mean, i got to pick up my tools. but So I think that's going to be all right and ready to go. I'll stop halfway there, you know, check the axle, make sure it's not cracking or something like that or bending, and uh, make sure that wheel bearing's not getting hot. It never did get hot, it just made a lot of noise. So, hopefully, it'll be alright, go over there and back, and then uh, that'll be it. So, it's her birthday tomorrow, so remember her, guys, and she, uh, you know, visit her channel, you know, tell her happy birthday on one of her videos. She just put a couple up today, so... Um, so yeah, you guys, 
I'll be filming this as, you know, film what's going on and stuff when we get over there and maybe some of the trip over there. It's not that long of a trip. Like I said, it's 18 minutes, but I'll film this for you and I'll have a video for you guys Sunday. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. And um, stay safe, everyone. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Happy birthday, Monk. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.